Woo. Yeah, I'm most definitely gonna be incorporating this stuff. I just learned that technique today, just now. I don't know from who, but I just learned that. So this is actually a couple exercises that I like to do before I actually go into my squats to be able to make sure I can connect with my glutes. Because I told y'all, my biggest issue when I get to my squat training is being able to connect with my glutes. I've noticed the better my engagement with my glutes, the better I can execute my squat to be able to load the body in the right ways to be able to effectively move the weight. And I've noticed that, we talked about this before, putting the bands around, around my calves make a huge difference. You wanna keep it within that calf area. You keep it within the calf area. You can move it a little bit higher or keep it a little bit lower. Trust me, it being low is still gonna be able to help you connect with the glutes. It's all relative to what type of resistance band you're using, meaning light, very light, medium, very heavy, and so on and so forth. I tell y'all all the time, I recommend medium to start off with. Do not use very light. If anything, play with the weight on the bar, meaning use a barbell, then maybe add 10 pounds, maybe add 25 pounds, maybe add 45 pounds on each side, whichever is relevant to what you can lift. But do be mindful, those are things to help connect and engage with the glutes so you can get more out of your leg training. The more you can engage with the glutes, the easier it is to get more development out of your legs, believe it or not. Good, let's get it. So now we moving on the leg extensions. Another great warm up I like using before I get into my squats, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. If I use leg extensions before I get into my squats, I'm not really looking to load a lot of weight on it. I like to get more reps. So I try to focus on anywhere between 20 to 10 reps. When I do 10, I'm, I'm generally only doing two sets. So my first three sets actually might be 20, which is lightweight. And I switch between using both legs and using ISO. I told y'all, make sure you isolate your legs. I don't see that a lot when it comes down to leg training, mainly when we get down to leg press, leg extensions. So do me a favor and make sure you incorporate the isolation work. And, and actually too, get that lean back like this because it works more quads. So this, like I said, this is nice and light. Get a squeeze with the quads at the top. Can't lie to y'all. 15, my legs cooked, y'all. Well, you my did legs do cooked. legs earlier, right? Don't matter. Don't matter. Always say this, you can't say you did it and start complaining. If you did it already, state that in the beginning and shut the fuck up. Do not be telling people the entire, the entire workout because you ain't been able to do what you normally able to do. We don't need a fucking reminder the entire workout. Oh, I trained legs yesterday. We training legs now. That don't got to do with shit what you did yesterday. I'm not saying at the end of the day, you're not gonna feel it. That's not what I'm saying, but you already know. Just so you don't kill the morale of your training partner, that's one thing I need some of us to understand. Mainly when you're training with somebody, do understand the energy you bring to the table can rub off on them. And this is why I say, yes, I did train legs yesterday, but like I said, it has nothing to do with my output today, even though it does, you know what I mean? My legs is a little hurt, but as you can see, I agreed to train the legs, so I can't say nothing. And this fine tuning right here. It's not like we doing the same weight we did yesterday.
I love the I love the burn is starting to kick in, which is good. Even though it's even lightweight. The pacing, the pacing is good. The pacing is good. Like I ain't swinging them joints like that. It's like I feel as if like if anyone who be swinging this shit, I bet you ain't gonna be feeling it in your quads like that. Pace yourself. Take your time. Time and attention is very, very important when it comes to these workouts. Anything basically. Because the more stress that you put on it, I wouldn't say stress, but that tension, ooh boy, that burn comes faster. So pace yourself, take your time, get that time under tension. Let's get back to it. <laughs> 